Hey there everyone, BTM Kiwi back here again with another Borderlands 3 gameplay stream. We're just carrying on from that last one. I haven't done a stream for a, a couple of days. It's because I've been trying to gather together some decent quality gear um, for my level at the time, which was 35 and now 36, but <clears throat> my, yeah, my gear is all level 35, but I was really close to hitting 36, but anyway, wow, claptrap. I think the updates might have been installed by now, so let's go in so we stop getting the annoying go back to main menu to apply updates message. And we'll continue on with our mission going to Pandora. Excuse me, if you guys could hear that, I was just having a drink. <laughs> so I got a new pocket infinity, the ice one. A negative infinity. I got this Hyperion that I'm using. I'm only using it because normally I'd use that, which I picked up, but because, um, yeah, I need a Hyperion weapon for the mail system. I did have a Torg pistol instead, but uh, that did like 400 damage times three without using three shots, per, um, three ammo per shot, which is amazing, but. The catch was it was a really shitty weapon at the corrosive. It was really shit with accuracy. It only had um its max range was only like twenty meters because it would fire three balls, one um going left and right that would curve around and um and come back and smash into each other and explode, and one that would go curving upwards and back down and hit with the other three. And that's all it would do, so it was really difficult to try and gauge the distance. It was strong when it hit, but it was just too inaccurate for my liking, so I got rid of it, even though it was really strong. Um, I picked up a, Lu a Liada, a Liuda, however you pronounce it, so that's pretty good. Picked up a Ruby's Wrath. This isn't how it normally looks, I just put the skin on it because it's normally just bog standard silver. It's ugly. Yeah, that's all it looks like normally. Pretty boring. This acts like the conference call when it hits when a hit happens. Um, all these bullets come shooting out from the enemy and ricochet off surfaces and re-hit. So that's pretty cool. And this is the gun with legs. It's also a flamethrower. So I thought for a submachine gun it's really pissy and weak, but then when I, I used it anyway for a, um, a Tedior mail that I needed to get for that trophy for getting a, a mail from each manuf weapon manufacturer. And I used this, and you can see the little legs there. And um, yeah, it was quite funny. That burning shit. And, oh gosh, I'll show you guys. And when it detects enemies around, it runs after them. But it's pretty cool, it's a flamethrower. It's really strong even though it says it's weak. But it's pretty strong. And I just did the mouthpiece thing again and got that. And this Vladov assault rifle that I have in case I want to use assault rifles. And this Iridian Artifact is really nice, if when I want to have luck, I just pop this on, and then everything's dandy. It lowers my health though, but increases my luck a lot, and then it's got a bonus luck stat on top of that. Which is really cool. 
Um, but yeah, I'd, I'll only use that. I'll pop that on when I want to get golden keys. So yeah. Got an upgraded version of that shield I had, so I take zero shock damage, which is a shield's greatest weakness. And instead of taking any sort of damage, it converts it to um, shield uh, into shield capacity. So if I'm taking damage from someone else, and then someone hits me with electric attack, or I hit myself with electric, I can recharge my shield instantly by the amount of shock damage I took. So that's pretty cool. And it absorbs bullets into ammo. I've got this one here for Amara, so it's SMG damage up by a lot, so that's really great. And whenever I phase grasp an enemy, action skill element is applied to all nearby enemies, so it lights everything on fire that's around her. And Atlas weapon reload speed, so that's good because it has minus reload speed in its Atlas. My grenade splits and aggressively seeks enemies and does a 60% chance of 1,123 damage a second, so it's really nice. And then this um, artifact I've got on gives me bonus SMG damage, health per second and cr bonus corrosive damage, so that's great. And when I melee an enemy it replenishes ammo, so it's hella good. So I've got all the SDUs up to at least purple. You won't last long if you can't stay well stocked. All done. Anyway, let's get to it. I will kill Borman Yates first. Because he he is on Promethea. He's not too far. Which is good. So I killed this guy already um, not too long ago, like yesterday or the day before, when I wasn't streaming. And he's just up here. The only thing I don't like about this gun is it's zoom. It is break a sweat. It's super high zoom and I don't like it. No, you're not. He thought he was going to live forever. <laughs> All right, Pandora. So, apparently there's a little, a little machine there, I mean, um, machine, you know what I mean, mission, yeah, mission, that's the word I was looking for.
<laughs> I thought something like that would happen. You're heading to an outpost called Roland's Rest. Vaughn will be there. Roland's Rest, huh. And that mission isn't showing. Hi, hello? I'm alive! For now! It seems Iridian professors are like vault keys. Everyone wants a piece. <clears throat> Gallo's humor aside, a rescue would be quite welcome, as I'm to be tortured and killed for the amusement of a crowd. I still have some tricks up my sleeve, but I fear using them would only change the method of my death. Ah, oh, that shield absorb. The Tyrene will absorb her instead. Bow. Yeah, so far away. Right. Hyperion sent me mayo. That's actually not bad. Jeez, the cry efficiency is decent. Damage is nice. Weapon damage, weapon accuracy, weapon shield capacity. It's, um, a low zoom, that's good. A critical hit damage. That's nice. That's actually a really good gun. Wow, the level of it is high. But I've already got an ice. Um, I'll put on my Mali one. Since I can switch between corrosive, etc. But jeez, that's a really good gun, that Hyperion. Far out, I really want to kind of just use it. Hmm. Trying to think, what brand haven't I used then? That's all the brands I got the Vladov. Surely I've got Vladov. I used that Vladov Infinity Pistol enough. I got the Atlas one. Anyway, I'll sort that out another time. Really? Yeah. It spawned me into the gunner seat instead of the driver's seat. My 
I think there'll be something up here. Anyway. I wonder if I can take my car through. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Trying to think if this is the area in Borderlands 2 where Roland actually dies. That kind of looks familiar. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
good. I wonder what the purpose of coming here was. Just because, or...? My grenade shoots as well as homes in. about you. Let's just go straight for the mission.
Oh, there's some of the Hyperion satellite that crashed. I'm trying to think. I think in the Tales from the Borderlands, um, Telltale Games um, game that crashed to make it crash. No hidden echoes. Clan, the Pectoral Liberation Alliance. Nah, I'm just kidding. Go Crimson Raiders! <laughs> Remember me, Vaughn? Of course. Your abs are burned into my retinas. Anyway, I'm glad you came along. It has been hell defending this place since Troy Calypso snatched our turrets with his crazy powers. I love those turrets. Oh, right, the mission. Okay, Lilith says you're here to save Tannis. Now, if Carnivora has her, you gotta get a move on. Who's Carnivora? I'll crush them. No, it's not a who, it's a what. Carnivora is a giant festival run by two murder streamers named Pain and Terror. You can find it in the Splinterlands, bro. Carnivora is the most popular Calypso fan stream in the galaxy, bro! Pain and Terror take kill requests non-stop in the name of the Calypsos, and of course, high viewer counts. Anyway, I can help you get to Carnivora, but getting in might be a different story. Vault Hunter, I know I don't need to say this, but we are not losing yeah. anyone else. I will get her back. I swear it. My imminent murder is whipping these cultists into a frenzy. 
They're delivering Iridium by the armful, screaming my name all the way. No idea I was so popular amongst the idiot masses. Suppose you never know where flattery is going to come from. I feel the power! Shoot that one and thank me later! This one's hot coral with fire and flaming shield. Literally hot. Child's play. I'm ready for a fight. Come on! I want a damn challenge! Zero. His shield flames no more. His life snuffed out like light. He won't rest in peace. A Hyperion shotgun. for that.
Hit the rat! Playing the gun, I see can detonate the barrels, my dear. Another catch a ride station. I'll just ignore that. I'm gonna have to end the stream soon.
in probably about 10 minutes because I've got some stuff I want to do. You made it to the Splinterlands! All right, Carnivore should still be nearby. The festival moves around Pandora, setting up... This area is Wherever there's stuff. enough crazies to fill the bleachers. They've been camped out here for a while now, so I guess the sacrifice business must be a booming. You'll uh you'll know it when you see it. Oh, thank you, dearie. I knew I could still count on the kindness of strangers even in these times. Come talk to me at the homestead. I love it! Wow. Great for maneuvering. Got the space of a spit to help me with a heap of dead beats. I'm a baker by tree. Started making a pretty penny catering bandit birthday bashes. I ain't no bandit, but a guy's gotta get paid somehow. Now, I got these dead beats you thought they could get away with not paying for my delectable delights. So I'm looking to make an example of them. Grab me a dozen spider ant eggs and a barrel of gunpowder. I'll warm up the oven. Oh, it's like a cannibal festival. See, I'm gonna bake me up some vengeance cake for the flaming Fist Clan. The eggs will help the dough rise, and the gunpowder will help it, you know, explode in their faces. <laughs> Just a little warning. When the oven gets hot, so do I.
a super pimp ride in order to get in. Oh, 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 bro! Okay, I heard Big Donnie over at the chop shop won a golden car and a sweepstakes. So, go steal that! Oh, man, Big Donnie, <clears throat> to hold a candle for him, but I never did get to trim his wig if you catch my drift, sex-wise. Gross. Faster just to pick up the catcher ride from the spawn. <laughs> oh, there's one just up here. <clears throat> Oh, <sighs> 
up, you idiots! We gotta melt this thing down before somebody tries to take it! That Donnie always trying to save his hide. Get that golden car before it melts down! I knew it! Someone's coming to steal my car! That's the tenth idiot trying to get into Carnivora today! Why's everyone so crazy to get murdered? Never should have joined this damn cult! Is that it? You, me, fight to the dead! And run for the water! That's great. Fine, I'll kill you myself! You ain't taking my gold! Come check my big D! Big D. The gold car is up on that crane. You'll have to get it down before you can drive that shagging wagon to the festival. Another Mali one male. I must need a um a COV weapon thing. I can't think of any other weapons. I've done Tedior, Jacobs, Hyperion, Mali one. Pretty sure I've done Vladov. Because I got lots of pills off that pocket infinity, but I could always Um use it.
How the fuck am I to get up there? on impact. I will keep you updated. of beads. Three hundred splash damage radius. Four ammo per shot. Highly effective first armor. Uh, full of bees. Why is it full of bees? Anyway, it's only level 26 that's so getting biffed. And I need to hurry up because I really need to go. Oh, that's shooting blades. That's a cool car. I want it. Never mind. going to end the stream here everyone so i hope you enjoyed it um i know it wasn't the longest but anywho um hit that follow button so you get notified when i go live next with whatever i go live next with 
I'll also be exporting this to my YouTube channel, so if you're interested in checking that out, you can follow the little link underneath my live stream panel. I've got clips and stuff to my YouTube channel, so that's one of the um, benefits of that, because I can't do that to here. Um, drop a comment on stuff you'd like to see me do next, I think so then you'll be better with, or just to pop in and say hey. And um, if you do check out my YouTube channel and like what you see, then why not help me out and subscribe? It would mean a hell of a lot to me, and I'll very much appreciate it. Um, as always, I hope everyone's having a great day, a great night, wherever in the world you are. Peace out, everyone. Have a great one.